Hey friends, it's Len here from 1A Auto. Today we've got a 9th gen Honda Accord in here and we want to go over some of the top issues that we found with it. Let's get started. All right friends, one of the first things I like to talk about is always a safety issue and to me, this is one of them. Right up here at this driver's side mirror, you're gonna have an issue with distortion. You try to take a look at it and it just kind of looks a little wonky to be honest with you. It kind of throws me off. So if you were to look at the mirror lens itself, you can look right across and you're gonna see a line that goes up and down. Right on the left side of that line is kind of where it seems like it cuts off and it makes my vision a little bit blurry. To me, that's a severe safety issue because if I was driving down the road, it creates a blurry area and I'm just not comfortable with that at all. Overall, this is a poor design. Um, I understand why they did it. They kind of wanted to give you a little bit more of a field of view, but unfortunately it's kind of a safety issue in case somebody's inside that blind spot area and it just turns into a blur. I would definitely consider that a safety issue. The fixes for this, unfortunately, would be you could try to replace just the glass, or of course you can get the whole assembly right at 1AAuto.com, and that one comes without the curved lens. Now we're gonna jump right into something that's super common on these vehicles, and generally speaking, you're gonna have an issue with the starter. Almost everybody that has one of these vehicles is gonna have to replace the starter at least once, maybe twice, or even three times in the span that they're gonna have the vehicle. So some of the things that you might notice with this faulty starter would be, of course, you go to start up the vehicle and either it cranks over a little bit and then cuts out for some reason before the vehicle started, or maybe you just turn that key or push the button and it goes clunk, you push it again, clunk, and you don't actually get a crank. It just makes a clunking noise. Like the starter inside is trying to engage, but the Bendex is not pushing out and it's not making connection like it should. So the fixes for this, of course, unless you're handy with getting into the starter and fixing the electronics and figure out what's going on, unfortunately, would be spending a little bit of money and buying yourself a new starter. Another potential fix would be, of course, to check that wiring. Make sure that you have a perfect connection and there's no corrosion around the area and the wires aren't split or frayed. The next thing I want to talk to you about on these vehicles is oil consumption. Overall, pretty much any new vehicle that has 020 oil in it is more than likely going to have an oil consumption problem. It's just very common. On this vehicle, I would consider it a top problem that it has. So what you would do is you come right over here to the oil dipstick. You would make sure you're on a level surface, vehicle's off. You go ahead and pull out that dipstick and check your oil level. If you happen to notice that it's in between those two dots on the range lines, you're doing all right. If it's down near the bottom dot, you're gonna wanna add some. The reason why this engine is gonna be losing oil like it does isn't necessarily because it's leaking anywhere. It's because the oil, 020 oil, is super thin. So with it being super thin, it's gonna make its way out through like those valves and stuff like that and just pretty much get burnt up inside the engine and come out the tailpipe. It's very common. You won't see any leaks, generally speaking. So if you're having this problem on a newer vehicle, generally speaking, you're more than likely gonna be still under warranty, in which case you'd bring it on down to them. They're gonna check it out and they'll diagnose whether or not they wanna replace some engine components to try to help take care of that for you. But otherwise, what I would do is pretty much every thousand miles, just get under the hood, make sure you're on a level surface and the engine's off go ahead and check that oil level. If it seems as though it's low, just grab a little bit of 020, put it inside that fill cap hole until it gets up close to that maximum dot. If you go above the maximum dot, unfortunately you're gonna need to get underneath the vehicle and drain a little bit out. Having your oil a little bit over full is actually worse than having your oil under full. The next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the paint on these things. Boo! What happens is, as you look along the edges here, you'll start to see it kind of like, seeming like it's flaking up. It's not necessarily the paint, the paint's still colored on there, but it's like a clear. What it actually is, it's the clear coat that's coated on this painting. Unfortunately, for some reason, you go through the car wash, and as you're going through, even just the light pressure of that can start peeling up that clear coat that's holding in the paint and keeping it safe. Unfortunately, once that starts to happen, it's gonna keep on happening. So what you need to do is you need to get on it and make sure that you recoat it with something. Generally speaking, you can either get yourself a little thing of clear coat, and you can try to patch over it, try to clean it up as nice as possible, maybe buff it down afterward, or of course you can pay somebody a couple bucks to try to take care of it for you. Oh. You know what? Another thing about these cars, the seats are just so darn uncomfortable. Some of the reasons why the seats on this particular vehicle would be uncomfortable would be because Feels like I'm riding on a rock of a seat. It's not super comfortable. I like something a little bit cushy, you know? It does feel like it wraps around me, which is nice, but it's just super firm and it just doesn't feel like it contours around my lower half. So I would have to say a fix for this would be, of course, make it comfortable for me. I could use something as simple as cushions, 
You can get something that might happen to go over this, like a seat cover or whatnot that has a little bit of padding on it. Make it your own. It's your vehicle. Have some fun with it. Okay, friends, so that's another one in the books for our top issues. If you like this video, make sure you like down here, you comment, and you subscribe. While you're at it, go ahead and ring the bell. That way that you can be kept up with all of our latest content. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.